What is up everybody? So in yesterday's video, I did show the haul that I picked up from Applejack's and one of the vehicles I got was Saboba's Pod Racer. Um, really cool vehicle. I wanted to pick it up obviously because I got a lot of Pod Racer figures and yeah, um, for 35 bucks I was able to find it and I just opened it and got it all put together and the stickers and everything and here it is. This thing is sick. Um, first of all, it is very large. It is a huge, huge ship. And that's what I love about action figures and 3.75 specifically is that, I mean, this was 35 bucks. Um, the Lego Anakin's Pod Racer was 35 bucks as well. And I mean, that's Lego and it's smaller. And this looks, first of all, way more realistic. It's bigger and just super duper cool. So yeah, um, I did have to put it together and put some stickers on it but it is just sick and i was wondering how they were going to make this back part hover um without you know like some invisible plastic or something to hold it up kind of like how they do with the um lego pod racer as you can see they have the invisible plastic well this wiring here is actually metal so um it you you pr pretty much stick the pins in here um, on the engine and then it holds up the cockpit because they are wi um, metaled wiring um, but here's the cockpit obviously Sebulba has the signature um, orange on his pod racer um, there's his little cockpit there and I am going to try to see if I can get the Sebulba figure in the cockpit itself but here's the other engine really really sick and then obviously in the middle there there's the electricity um, yeah, and then this thing, if you push it down, I'm not gonna, well, no, I'm not, I'm not gonna do it, but if you push it down, um, uh, th these things swing open, and that little claw pops out, I guess it's just like a little feature that Sabawa created, um, but yeah, really, really sick. Again, I just think that it is so sick that this, I mean, I mean, look at it compared to like a figure. I mean, it's it's huge. Um, it's it's I would say that it's um, size size accurate. Um, and then let's take a look at it from this angle. Yeah, really, really sick. Um, there's stickers on the back of the engines right there, and then on that side as well. But yeah, really, really cool. So. Um, I do have this Saboba figure. I don't know if they ever made one for, or in the Clone Wars wave, because that is kind of the era that this set came out. Um, I don't believe that they did, so I'm just going to end up be, uh, using this Saboba that I have. Um, there we go. Um, so let's see if I can get it. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Um, trying to get this on my stand here and it's like it does not want to cooperate um, anyways let's go ahead and see if I can get Subulba in here so um, I don't think that he I think he like moves it oh wow okay that was really easy he fits perfectly um, yeah, so, you know, I just put his feet in there, like, like so. Um, or his arms, technically, because he's, like, he's backwards with it. And then I just put his, his arms up, and wow, that worked perfectly. So there is Saboba in his pod racer. Is he going to want to focus there? <laughs> that is so cool. Wow. That is sick. Wow. So, yeah, very happy with this purchase. I mean, it was very cheap um, for what you get. Um, yeah, as you can see, just a sick, sick pod racer. I think I'm going to move my A-Wing and put it down there because I think it's cooler than the A-Wing. Um, and then, yeah, I still have to um, add all my figures to the display really really sick figs uh, my camera does not want to focus today jeez 
Like every time I focus it, it just goes right out of focus. Um, but yeah, I need to add them to the display. And I'm going to add him to the display. So anyways, guys, if you did enjoy the video, make sure to hit like. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.